In our world today, nothing comes easy. You need to work hard for everything that you want in order to achieve a certain goal in life. You can't just let everything flow and hope for the best. This is especially rampant in the world of crypto and blockchain games. Sure, you can buy tons of coins and tokens and let it sit for a while until the price grows. But that is a long-term investment and there are ways to earn easier and quickly. In this video, we will talk about how it pays to work hard, literally pays. Hello internet and welcome to Crypto Cash Out, the show that will work hard and bring you information about everything and anything crypto. So if you are into that sort of thing, make sure to click that big red subscribe button to be updated in our latest updates. We love sharing information about crypto in this channel but always remember that we are not financial advisors. This means that you should never take what we say as financial advice. What we can advise you on though is for you to do additional research after watching this video. With that out of the way, let us head on to the video proper. Blockchain-based games have been a staple in the crypto industry for quite a while now because of how it gives the players two general options to earn real monetary value. The first one is through sitting on the coin and waiting until prices rise to optimal heights. The next way is to grind hard and earn as quickly as possible. One such game that offers this grindy feature is Mere 4. If you are unfamiliar with the game, then don't worry as we have got you covered in this video. This video, we will talk about what it is, how you can earn several dollars and why it is a great avenue if you want to earn quickly in the crypto world. So, strap on as we are going to take you to a whole new world. If you are a fan of MMORPG games in the past, then this game will be no stranger to you as the mechanics are going to be the same. The game is really aesthetically pleasing with its eastern inspiration for the character and background designs. If you look at the trailers and the game itself, you can really see how hard the developers want to make the game as visually appealing as possible to attract a certain group of people in the gaming world. The game is mainly played on mobile devices, however you must have a high-end mobile device in order to enjoy the game without worrying too much about frame rate and overheating. With this, people are suggesting that you must make use of emulators in your desktop computer such as Bluestacks. Bluestacks allows you to play mobile games such as Mirror 4 on your personal computer or PC, but if that is too much of a hassle, then they also have the game ready on Steam. Now before we get in and dive deeper into how to earn in the game, it is crucially important for us to know a little background of the game. Trust me, it will make sense later. Be patient with us. Now, the game Mirror 4 is created by a South Korean video game developer. We made Co Limited, a company under We Made Entertainment. This is going to be quite complicated, so please do bear with us. We Made is famous in South Korea because of the many games it has made since 2000. That is over 20 years of game development. We are talking about games such as, but not limited to, the Windrunner series, Avalon Online, Astro Online, and of course, the Mirror series. Now, in early 2018, We Made Entertainment announced a new subsidiary company called We Made 3 and this company is dedicated to the blockchain side of things for We Made Entertainment. To avoid further misunderstandings and confusions, let us refer to the main company as Entertainment, the company that created Mirror 4 as Co Limited, and the blockchain company as 3. Got it? Okay, let's continue. Now, because of 3, entertainment finally has a connection to the blockchain world. Because of that, they want to integrate it with one of their most popular gaming franchises in Mir. This is where Mir 4 comes in and because of its already popular fan base backing it up, it was quite easy for Co Limited to find a fan base that will support the game. This is why Mir 4 has gathered all of this early success which would not have been possible had it been a new franchise of game. Now, if you want to get into the game, then the first thing you need to do is to select the class of character you want to play as. Currently at the time of writing, there are 4 classes in Mir 4. In my opinion, there isn't really a superior class and Co Limited has done a great job to balance the classes in order to keep the game fun for everyone. The first type of class is the Warrior class and they are like the Bruiser which is great for beginners. They have high attack stats and high defense stats which make them really great. 
Next up, we have the Sorcerer class, which is the one you want to pick if you want to deal heavy damage to a group of enemies at a single time. The downside for them is that they have a really low defense stat which means that you are forced to play from the back in order to sustain your health points. Then we have the Taoist, who are the perfect class for those who want to play a support role, but don't let healing skills deceive you as they can still dish out powerful melee attacks. But because they have low defense, you must be really quick on your reactions as you don't want to hurt yourself while making an attack. Lastly, we have the Lancer class, who as the name suggests, has a lance along with them. Lancers are great attackers and have decent range. What really sets them apart from other classes is that they are super mobile and have a lot of dashes. They are great for PvP fights because of the crowd control or CC they have to beat the enemies. Whatever class you may choose, again, the developers did a fantastic job of balancing the classes to make sure that no class is superior to another. Whatever your class may be, you still need to be level 40 in order to start earning in the game. But don't worry, you can start mining as soon as you hit level 20, and it is really quick and easy to reach those high levels especially if you do missions. Harder missions will grant you more experience points, but if you do the minor or side missions in bunches, many people argue that it is faster to earn experience points that way. There are a lot of perks of leveling up. One of these perks is unlocking new and exciting areas in the world map. For all you explorers out there, this one is for you. When exploring new areas, you will encounter stronger enemies that will give you more experience. And the best part of it all is once you reach level 40, you will gain access to Snake Pit, which will be a haven for you if you want to just mine all day, all night. So, what are you waiting for? Go and get those experience points so you can cash out after you have mine resources. If you grind long enough, you can reach level 10 after a day. A couple of days later, you can reach level 40 so really, it is a battle of wits. When you reach level 40, many people believe that mining is the best and quickest way to earn some assets in the game, not the missions. So, depending on how you view it, mining is really the bread and butter of this game. Completing the main story will also give you access to some areas of the map. Speaking of mining, what are you looking for anyway? Now, there are a lot of ores you can mine in the game but none of them compare to the coveted dark steel which is what we are going to be talking about today. Dark steel ores can only be found in certain areas in the game, most commonly in areas available after the main story is completed. Once you find a source for these dark steel ores, you will forget about missions and all as people are really claiming dark steel to be the main selling point of the game because of how profitable it is. But why dark steel? It is one of the most valuable ores in the game and you can get Draco coins with it. More specifically, if you collect 100,000 dark steel, you can convert it to Draco coins. You need to harvest more dark steel in order to convert it to Draco. Draco is like the utility token in the world of Mir 4. It gives you the chance to purchase items in and out of the game. So again, you need to have 100,000 dark steel ores in order to smelt it into Draco coins that you can freely use in the game. That was before and now, you need a bit more in order to convert it to Draco. Plus, you also need to pay a fee for converting your dark steel so it really is better to mine or dark steel in order to ensure your winnings. Every day, there is a single player limit of only smelting 1 million coins and you can only smelt so much in the game. Mining dark steel is really easy but it takes a lot of time and patience. Usually you can get at least 150 dark steel per 10 seconds. That is what many consider as the minimum. So assuming that you leave your PC running for 24 hours a day just to mine dark steel, you can get at least 1,296,000 dark steel and convert all of that to Draco, then you have 12.96. Let's round that up to 13. So now, you have 13 Draco which might seem like not a lot but remember that this is the minimum. You can go for so much more with this. With that in mind, you can see how easy it is to earn $100 in a couple of days or even $50 a day. Assuming of course that you have all the time in the world to mine all day and all night. With that being said, how much is each Draco coin? Surely mining this much should be worth quite a lot, right? Surprisingly, Draco coins really are not worth any real value but you are able to trade it for Wii Mix, which is the local token for Wii Made Entertainment. At the time of writing the script, of this video, each remix token is valued at $2.43 in a market cap of almost $300 million. So, 
The token is really performing well and has been on the green in the past couple of days. I think that having a centralized token as a company is really good for them. I think so because it recreates the success of gaming companies such as Gala Games where all of their games have a central token where it can be used interchangeably within the games. Hopefully they release more games in the future that will recreate the success of Mir 4. But I'm afraid that is all we have for this video. We hope you enjoyed it while watching and please like the video if you did. It takes you only a couple of seconds. You can also subscribe as it helps us a ton by inspiring us to make more videos like this and you will be able to see new uploads from us. A win-win if you ask me. Also, leave a comment down below on your thoughts about Mir 4 for a chance at a shoutout giveaway. If you want more videos on blockchain games, we have an awesome video talking about gods and chains so go check that out. Until next time, have fun cashing out!